Our next guest is one half of the number one Keller Williams team in South Bay. Please welcome back to the show, Anthony Manzon and his special guest, preferred lender, Jason Paulington. What's up, fellas? What's up? How are you doing? Good, thanks Great. for having us. Great to have you both here. A uh, lot to talk about today, of course. Uh, a lot going on in Chula Vista, per the huge. Um, we decided to get a little interesting on this one in social media, Jen. We yep. decided to go the, the route of asking about the mayor. The Talking raise about the raise for so the we'll, mayor. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Um, first of all, Jason, welcome to the program for the first time. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's great to have really you here. Um, now, your company has, you know, we've been well represented on the show. Greg May has been here before right. um, talking about Agents Capital and all the really cool stuff that you guys are doing for people in the marketplace. So yeah. we're familiar with you, <laughs> but it's nice to have a loan officer here because we can get to the nitty gritty a little bit. Absolutely. Especially about VA, which is what we're talking about today for the most mm -hmm. part. The VA loan itself, how it works, and how people can use the VA loan to buy homes in Chula Vista and why they should do that. So let's talk about the loan itself. There's a lot of benefits for VA, for veterans in, in San Diego. Um, <clears throat> obviously, uh, veterans are a huge part of our, uh, uh, of the marketplace in San Diego. There's a lot of uh, active duty in veterans in, uh, in San Diego. And, um, you know, they, they offer a lot of different benefits for them. Um, you know, you could go a lot lower on credit score. Um, there's a lot more flexibility that the other loan programs just don't have and um, it's just a, a lot more re rewarding my brother was a veteran mm -hmm. a Navy vet and um, you know you're able to do a lot especially for disabled vets they waive a lot of they waive the VA funding fee as long as you have a 10% or more uh, service related disability so it's just a really um, awesome program for for veterans it's just yeah, low money down, zero down, zero yeah. down. Low and then. Uh, no there's a little insurance, no yeah. mortgage insurance. I mean, yeah. that's huge. No these mortgage days. insurance. That's huge. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I keep hearing people talking about paying three, four, five hundred dollars a month mortgage insurance if you're using the VA loan. Yeah, no, nothing. The only other right. way, twenty percent down, but you don't put anything down and no mortgage insurance. Yeah, that's a huge uh, tool. It can be used if right. people know about it. I mean, that's really the thing is you got to know that it exists before you can use it. And so that's what right. we're doing today is providing some of that education. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And you can go as low as a 580 FICO score. Um, uh, one of the clients that we just um, closed a loan on not too long ago, uh, she had a 560 FICO score. Um, and that was probably one of the hardest loans I've ever done. 560. Yes. <laughs> Wow. And it was a VA jumbo loan at that. You got someone a home loan that had a 560 credit score. Yes. And it was an amazing house. It's not like... Beautiful. It was, a, it was nice. Super yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. Now, some people still know me by Mr. Credit. So I'm going to just pull that <laughs> out of the... For just a second. Put that hat on. I'm just going to let you know, 560 means that you have D minus credit. Right. I'm being kind with that. That's D minus credit. So the fact that you're able to get that done tells me two things. It tells me that number one, you know what you're doing. It tells me number two that the VA must really be um, a little bit more flexible. Flexible, right? Yeah, when it comes to those standards, because a lot of those hard and fast rules with these lenders, the overlays, even though there's no credit score requirement for VA technically in their right. underwriting guidelines, you know, a lot of times you can't get it done under 620. Yeah, yeah, and this one was uh, <clears throat> it really pulled on my my heartstrings a little bit because. Um, you know, it was just, it was a really, uh, just an emotional transaction. So, um, but the, the wife was a disabled vet, husband, active duty, and they made enough income. They had some blemishes on their credit from the past that was still haunting them to this day. And because they didn't know what to really do, um, to improve their credit score, um, you know, they still had somewhat of a low middle FICO. Yeah, and, and that's what you're looking at ultimately when yeah. it comes to financing. Yeah. So, Anthony, you got to hand the keys to these people at, oh, yeah. uh, at a certain <laughs> point in time. How did that feel? Oh, it was amazing. Um, when I first met them, you know, they thought owning a house was just a dream that they could never get to. Um, Jason is my get it done guy, so I hooked him up with Jason. I knew he would do whatever it takes to get them, you know, the loan approved. He did it. Um, we did some hurdles, but we got him in, and now um, they're just loving their home. They got a pool, like 2,500 square feet, big house in Ramona, and, and they're loving it. That's cool. Very, mm -hmm. very cool. Yeah. Um, and you can get a lot in Ramona. 
Uh, oh, yeah. We're talking yeah. about jumbo loans. You can get some really cool, really cool properties. Mm -hmm. Same thing in, in Chula Vista, frankly. Yeah. Um, and I think that it's a marketplace. You know, you're an expert in Chula Vista, 91913, your expertise area. And um, you've, you've talked about how VA buyers should be looking down in Chula Vista. Why is that? So the reason why I think Chula Vista is a great place for, you know, the military to stay maybe when they're stationed out here in San Diego is, you know, a bunch of reasons, but I'm going to narrow it down to four. Okay. So number one, I say, you know, the housing, it's all newer construction. So let's say, for instance, you buy a house there and you immediately have to pack your bags and go. Newer houses usually mean less problems. So from a property manager standpoint, or you just want to get into a house with less problems, you know, if the house is newer, hopefully there's less problems than, you know, a 1950 house or a 1960 house. Um, number two, schools. They're all great. Rated anywhere from eight, nine, ten. Majority are in the eights and the nines. So when you have good schools, you know, the value holds. So it's a safer investment also. Uh, Safety-wise, um, Chula Vista was ranked, in some articles I've seen Chula Vista is ranked second safest city in all of the U.S. and some places I've seen it ranked as number 10. So anywhere in the top 10, Chula Vista is up there safety-wise. And um, the third reason I think is because we start to see a lot of the military population gravitate towards Chula Vista because of the two bases that are really close by. Coronado and the one in National City on 32nd Street. Uh, when a lot of military families move into Chula Vista because of those four reasons, it creates a community and a culture around supporting our military, you know, presence out here. And, you know, if you think about why you'd want to buy a house, those four reasons kind of just cover all the reasons why you'd want to buy a house. And yeah. Chula Vista almost fits it perfectly, honestly. And I'm glad you mentioned that about the safety uh, yeah. down in Chula Vista. I want to give a quick shout out to my buddy Tim McAtee, who is a uh, police officer in Chula Vista. Mm. Uh, and I know that they do a lot of extensive training and, and things like that. And they work really, really hard to make sure that that uh, remains the case. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Um, and also, I should mention, I'm going to add a fifth one. Oh, on there <laughs> what do you got? You. Okay, I got I to gotta throw this out there. Because now you mentioned the newer homes, which is huge because we see a lot. In fact, there are charities totally dedicated just to helping veterans do deferred maintenance on their homes because the stuff can add up over time. And if you buy an old house, that's definitely a big point. Yeah. But also the price point. Mm -hmm. Bang for your buck Bang wise. For your buck. Mm -hmm. yeah. you now we're talking about a VA loan. So what are our caps for the VA loan, Jason? 562, 350. That's the max. However, you can go higher than that. You just, the, you know, a lot of people don't know this. You just paid. The veteran just pays 25% of the difference above that amount. Okay. So mm -hmm. you can't go up above from last year. But let's say most of the loans will probably be at that cap range or lower. Absolutely. So 562, 500. 562, 350. 562, 350. <laughs> 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 hey, it's he knows the numbers, Jen. Yeah. <laughs> Don't He's you understand why he needs to be here? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so in that price range, Anthony, what kind of house can I get in Chula Vista? Great question, and that's actually going to lead us to a mega open house we're actually having <laughs> oh, mega open house. today. Red light, red light, mega open house today. <laughs> we're doing a mega Run open house walk. today, right after this show. I'm sure yep. you guys are watching it. We're doing a mega open house today at 1220 Santa Lucia, L-U-C-I-A. It's a four-bedroom, three-bath, about 2,300 square feet. We're entertaining offers between 550 and 570. This house was built in 2001, newer community, a um, lot of military presence. So, I mean, if you want to check out what Chula Vista has to offer, come visit me. See yeah. me in person. Yes, in the mega open we'll house. Be yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be there. Yeah. Be there. You guys will be there. What's cool about the mega open house is that it's really like a party. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's it's not an open house. No, okay? not open your house typical. Means, yeah, I'm walking in and I don't know, I'm signing in and it's very quiet. <laughs> that's not the mega open house. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jen, just so you know. In not case the you way Anthony make it does from it. From La Costa no. all the way down to Chula Vista <laughs> for one of the Ma T Manzon's mega open houses. You will see Anthony cooking his famous, what do you call it? My world famous shredded barbecue beef sandwiches. Shredded barbecue oh, beef sandwiches. Nice. Are <laughs> we, is it lunchtime? <laughs> We're it's always hungry lunchtime. here. <laughs> yeah. How long does it take to make it? 12 hours, Marinate 13 hours? Marinate that thing for like 13 to 14 hours overnight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do. Delicious. And it's more so. of a party in Chula Vista than anywhere else I've been in actually. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> and um, the results speak for themselves. Um, last time I was here on the show, I was pitching two open houses that we were selling, mega open houses. We accepted an offer the day after the mega open house. So they were on the market for three days, um, got offers above asking price. And if people are telling you the market's not hot, I mean, it is if you market the house correctly. Exactly. And that's exactly what you get if you use Team Amazon. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate your time. No, thank, thank you. you. Great stuff. Stick around for more Smarter San Diego TV, where we guarantee to make you smarter than everyone else. Commercial free. <laughs> 
Hey, great show, guys. That's a wrap. Jade, uh, what's your schedule look like? Do you mind breaking down the set? Uh, not today, Derek. I'd love to, but there's waves out there. I gotta go.